Hey, Anna. Good morning. We're checking out who is Bill Molden. That's the hashtag of this great exhibition at the Pritzker Military Museum and Library. James Brundage is the curator. Good morning. Good morning. So for people who don't know what Bill Molden, award-winning cartoonist, meant for that greatest generation, sure. what did his cartoons of World War II meant? So, you know, Bill Malden was drawing cartoons for the enlisted man, for the infantryman. He was representing the situations that they were experiencing, that they were going through, and he wanted to, to give them a little bit of uh, humor and, and comedy in the cartoons that he was drawing. And comedy and kind of like a voice away from that official literature from the military. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was, you know, he was trying to um, you know, represent the, the experiences that they were going through. Mm -hmm. uh, he does this during World War II. He continues this during Korea. He continues it during Vietnam. You know, he really wanted to speak on behalf of those soldiers and give people an understanding of, of what these guys were going through. Mm -hmm. And he was sent by different outlets to do this, right? Yeah, so during World War II, mm -hmm. he's working for Stars and Stripes. Mm -hmm. um, in the Korean War, he goes as a correspondent with Collier's Magazine, and then he goes to Vietnam with the Sun Times in 1965. Wow, and this is part of your collection here at the museum? Yeah, so the museum and library has the largest collection of original artwork by Bill Malden. Mm -hmm. um, we have over 5,000 original pieces, and this is just a, a small selection of those pieces that help tell that story about what he represented and what he meant um, and how he presented those soldiers. To I also love, James, that he not only has the battlefield and what's happening abroad, but what's happening back home. Yes, yeah, so he also, when he returns home, he draws those experiences as well. I love it. Um, All right, when we come back around town, we will show you how then, after being a war cartoonist, if you will, when he switched to the Sun-Times, he became a political uh, cartoonist. And we'll have more in how relevant those cartoons are right now around town this morning.